Hello, this is Travis, and today I'm going to go over a factoring program. Basically, you're factoring a number, and so we have our comments up here. The comments, I always make sure that they're in green. Uh, your program will not run comments unless you create a specific program to capture comments, but uh, the basic I IDE doesn't uh, use comments to program. And you have your include standard input output header. And you have different types of header preprocessor directives. This is basically one of the ones that you'll use when you first start out programming in C. Um, you have your long factorial. This is an integer of long. Long is what you use to input a lot of integers into a number. And you have the factorial, long number. And this is the function prototype. You have the int main void. And all C programs must start out with a main or a main file. And integer is just an integer main, and void means that there's no arguments. Begin um, inside what are called braces. And then you have your declaration. You have your int i. And, yeah, and you can have multiple declarations. These are basically your variables that you can uh, pass into statements. And this is an uh, integer i, which uh, basically i can mean, mean anything. You can have 20, 30, 40, whatever. But uh, so it says, okay, we're going to loop this eight or loop eight numbers, calculate factor i, and return results. Okay, so this is the uh, this is called a for loop. It's basically it says for, and then it has your for uh, structure, your increment, and your uh, this is your con control structure in the center there, which means that uh, you don't want it to loop more than eight times. Or depending on how you do it, it'll, it'll loop. Uh, eight times or less and so we have the uh, integer equals zero the i is less than or equal to eight and then i plus plus which i is the incrementer for your input of zero so that means it'll increment by one since i have it at zero and then we have our print statement so you have your loop and then you say okay for this is going to be incremented this many times and loop or loop through this this many times and you have your printf, which is your basic C statement that you say, says, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and print what's in the parentheses, or actually, yeah, in the parentheses, and what's actually being printed is in the double quotes. And the percent two D, that means that you're going to have a printout a two decimal integer, or a um, actually two decimals wouldn't be an integer; that would be a, a real number, and then you had to have e, I mean uh, equals percent one d, and that's a new line, and that's a little uh, audio sound slash audio. And when you have a comma, the first percent, uh, whether it's a d, which would be a, you'd say I guess a decimal, but uh, it means it's going to be an integer. Or if you had an s, it'd be a string. But you'd say okay, well it's going to print the the i. Uh, number and the second one is going to be the factorial of i. And then you have your uh, get char get char, which is basically I use get char instead of system pause because it seems like it's more dependable to stop the program. Because normally, if you don't put anything in that stops the program, then once your command line opens, which I have that there, then it'll automatically close. You have return zero, which means that that's uh, basically ending the statement. And then the next one is you have the recursive definition, you have a long factorial, long number, and you have another um, if else. So if number is less than one, return two, else return number times factorial number two, number minus two. And this is actually supposed to be a minus one. So we'll uh, put that at one and then we'll go ahead and run it. And this one is structured off two, so I'd have to reset this uh, program up in the release mode. But so it has two. It starts out as two because I have it incremented as two. So zero equals two, one equals two, two equals four. Then that's four times three is twelve. Twelve times four is forty-eight. Forty-eight times five is two hundred forty-eight. 248 times 6 is 1,440, and 7 times 1440 is uh, 
10,080, 10,080 times 8 is 80,648. So basically that's just a, a incrementer for loop program. Let's see, we'll take out the get char and we'll see what it does. Okay, we got get char. And then it closes real quick because we don't have anything. It, basically the get char means a, or get care means a get character. And if you didn't actually put in a character, then it's still trying to search for that character, waiting for you to input it in. So put that in there. And actually, we'll try system pause real quick. Oh, got an A in there. Okay, build. Let's see. Clean recursive factorial. And build and rebuild. Okay, it's giving me an error here. This is basically system identifier not found. Recursive factorial 18, line 1. So it's saying system pause is not working. So that's what I mean by. Uh, using system pause instead of care and I put it in twice because if it goes for get care then once then it may uh, or it always closes out so you have to put it in twice because it's uh, basically it gets the first character of the return and then if you uh, put get character in there again or get care then it's still looking for another character that's an input oh, we gotta rebuild it Just rebuild all successful down here. Oh. Okay, and then now it's working again. And say if you change the incrementer or the, uh, the control structure to say 15, then you run it again. It goes up to 15. And it has more than your long integer numbers, so it's uh, so it starts putting a negative in there. I'll put this back down to 8. And that is basically a factoring program. Thanks, and uh, I'll try to put on more tutorials.